<laughs> hello. So hello, everybody. Welcome. And uh, we will just turn it right over to Belle. <gasps> hello. Welcome to our uh, monthly Monos presentation. This is the month of March, and we are doing Franca. Do -do -do. Um, you'll notice my setup is different this time. I do not have the lovely backdrop of yarn because our uh, the rack that has the Franca hanging on it has a tower, a, a rack tower that is uh, zip tied to it, and it was this whole ordeal to move it. So I just brought my my lovely model lady friends up here to help me, um, and they provide a nice backdrop. And you can see all the beautiful things at once. Um, but I will still start with talking about the yarn, and I brought up a few skeins for some ooh, up close inspection. So Franca is um, Manos's super wash, super bulky yarn, 100% merino. Um, it is approximately 114 yards. These are 38 a skein. So they're, they're luxurious. Um, the good news is you can get um, a lot of different projects out of one skein. Um, so that's the fun part, especially because it's, you know, giant yarn. So, uh, sorry, I think I probably said that wrong. You can get one project out of one skein, but there's a lot of different things you can do with one skein. Um, and so this is a super bulky. So you're going to um, knit it or crochet it on like a US 13 or 15 for knitting, um, a nine to 10 millimeter for crochet. Um, I might be tempted to go up a hook size um, with this because it is so fluffy and generous, um, but you can definitely crochet with this. So we unfortunately only have knit pieces um, in the Franca, but that is not to say you cannot crochet with it. I love this color. This color is called quartz. And it's one of their newer lines when they started doing speckling. And I think it's a really nice color. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I really like how they're, they're doing the dip dyes along with the spatters, the speckling. Yeah, yeah this is the quartz. There's also um, a blue toned one. This is the pinky toned one. There's a blue toned one, um, which is really nice if pink is not your thing. And then there are several colors that um, they, they did, I think four of these. Well, no, they did more than that, like eight, because they did some on black as well. Um, but they have some on cream and different colors where it's just one spot or one color of dots on it. And we'll show you the colors of all of these later as we go on the website and we can show, you can see all of them on our website. But just up close, I think these are fun because you've got such a big piece of yarn to kind of have you know, a great big fat splotch of color on there and it'll show up in your pieces. And I think that's really fun. So it's single ply. So that means it's really plush and plumpy. Um, it also, it'll bloom a little bit, um, but it'll be a luscious project. Um, so I guess I can just go into, any questions about the yarn? Maybe we can start that. And then I'll go into the models. Okay, do we want to show the colors yet? Or do you want to do the models? First? Yeah, sure, go ahead, show some colors. Here's okay. a green one too, because look at this. The, the, uh, it's not machine washable. It is super wash. Um, it oh, is it is super wash. It is super wash. So it is technically machine washable. Again, it's a single ply. So you don't want to, you know, you want to go easy on it. It would be, you know, a delicate cycle machine wash. And you definitely want to lay flat to dry. But it should not felt on you. Or I should say it won't felt on you. <laughs> And yeah, extending, you know, to extend the life of all of your knit projects, the easier you can wash it, the better it's going to go. I'm assuming so there's that, that Solana is that blue version of the quartz, which is kind of fun. Um, and, the, and with the Franca, they've got a range of their tonals as well as the variegates. And I think they have a nice mix of colors with the Franca. I don't seem to look at the Franca and think, oh, they're missing this one. They, they seem to kind of capture them all. So that's really nice too. Yeah, they really did when it first came, like they usually do when it first came out, there was only a handful of colors. Yeah, yeah well, here's the, the single colors on the black background. And then they did some single colors on white background. And I think those are fun. And they did a whole collection. I'll show that later. 
And one of the fun things about this yarn, uh, Daryl Hannah, for those of you that remember her, was in the store. Um, and this was the yarn she bought. She fell in love with it. I rang her up and I didn't even remember what she bought. Oh, I gotta take that one off. That's a discontinued one. Oh, <gasps> gassed. So yeah, they've got some beautiful rich colors. Um, nice depth because again, it's that beautiful merino, mm -hmm. that wool, lovely stuff. So let's jump into our models. Like I said, lots of accessories. Um, you can, of course, there are a lot of garments out there that you can knit with a super bulky. Um, but we find the accessories for the Franca do really well. So this is a really fun scarf. And it is called Merga. <laughs> I don't think you're going to... I don't think you saw it very well, um, but it's one skein of two colors. And it's used, it's using something, it, it almost looks like a nice simple garter. Um, and it's not complicated, but it's using something called a star stitch, which uses slip stitches. So it kind of helps meld those two colorways together a bit more and you get more of a mix. And so it's not just a straight garter or stockinette. It's got a little bit of texture and interest to it. And then of course a fun fringe. Can't go wrong with fringe. And with that Franca, it's squishy and drapey and lovely. And Franca is really thick. Um, like I said, it's a super bulky, but it's not actually that heavy. And I think part of that is because it's this single ply that there's this lot of loft in these squishy little strands. So that's the Merga. And and you did some kits for Merga. <laughs> I was about to admit that I totally spaced on whether or not I did kits for Merga or not. <laughs> I did not do my research on that one. So yes, I put some kits together for you for this lovely scarf. I knew you had that plan. <laughs> this is done on 17s. Yeah, so nice, very fast knit, enjoyable, um, gives you that you know instant gratification really quickly while still having a sizable piece. You know, this is a long scarf. It is, it goes at 63 inches long without the fringe. Yeah, which is, you know, a standard wrap size about. And why would you not have fringe? It is all the rage at the moment. So there's your original colorway. And you can see they kind of pulled one of that, that bright fun yellow out of that cinquenta color. The Cinquenta, for those of you that uh, aren't familiar with it, that was Manos's 50th anniversary color. Yeah, and I think some of the Cinquentas are going away. So if you like the Cinquenta and any of your favorite yarns, grab them before they're gone. Yes, yeah, the Cinquenta is going away. So here with the quartz, what I did is I pulled out that speckle color, which is kind of a, a stormy gray and this perfect skein that goes with it. Kind of a sophisticated pink. I love this speckle one. So this speckle yarn is part of a whole, um, what do you call it? A run, a series, a collection, collection of Franca that they did that were all party themed and they all kind of go together. And I've got some pieces um, I'll show you that play on that theme um, and they're really fun. You can put that speckle with any color just about. Andalusia, yes, this this maroon color like matched that Andalusia perfectly. And I thought it was a great play on all those fun, deep colors. Midas, love the Midas. The very popular color, that top one, it's got some purples. It makes me think of an English garden, purples, greens, violets, pinks. Koi, very fun color can go beachy, it can go a um, little more modern, peppy. Hule, we've got a hat in this color. Oh, I should pull that. Um, it's a great color, very rich. It's um, almost evokes the, you know, those fall, deep, rich fall colors, but it's got all that plum in it, which makes it 
you know, you can wear it year round and it doesn't scream fall at you. And you're like, oh, I should only wear this at Thanksgiving. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very popular color in the shop too. I, yeah, I know because I'm, a... I'm always reordering it. Yeah, the, these colors are so rich. Everyone loves these rich. So here it is in our hat, these dark, rich colors. And throwing in that purple really kind of makes it feel a bit more well-rounded and not just, this is my September hat. <laughs> so that's the Murga. We got fringe on both ends. Star stitch is very simple. It's just a slip stitch. There's nothing complicated. Anybody can do that one. Love that one. Here's another piece. Again, super long. I had it wrapped three times. This one is called the Golden Touch Cowl. Ooh, it is, yeah, I'm not gonna get much focus there. Um, it's two skeins. And this one is very skinny and then very long. And you seam it. So you don't have to worry about knitting in the round or anything. You could do this on straight needles if you want. And this is done using a woven stitch. So you can see, oh, nice. I think, do I have this upside down? There we go. You can see, yeah, it's got this really neat kind of crosshatch basket weave look. That's it's knit. knit. And this is knit, yes, this one is knit. We unfortunately do not have any crochet pieces, but you could do really fun stuff in crochet with Franca as well. Um, and what this is, is, um, gosh, you, you like knit into the second uh, stitch on the needle and leave it there. And then you knit the first one and you slip them both together. And so again, it's not super complicated, but it's got this great effect. It's also um, for having this neat crosshatch, it's not very thick. It's still, you know, fairly thin. So it's not gonna feel too bulky. And you've got this great length to play with. So you could just wrap it twice. You can have a shorter cowl and then a bit of an accent piece that falls down. Or you could loop it three times and have just a really nice cozy around the around your neck, popping out of your jacket. Although if I'm honest, if I were to do this, I would make it half as long and twice as wide. Because that's how I like my cows. But it would be probably pretty easy to adjust that pattern to do that, do you think? Oh, yeah. No, I think I literally would just cast on twice as many stitches and you'd be fine. I think it's like an over a two stitch repeat. That was my question. Yeah. Would you do it in the round repeat? or would you do it flat? I would still do it flat. Because if you, when you go into the round, some stitches get more complicated um, depending on what you're doing on the backside. And I think with the woven stitch, well, no, I think you're still kind of doing the same motions. And they have it, um, they have it listed how to do it on the wrong side and how to do it on the right side. Um, so I do think it would be very easy um, pattern to manipulate. If you have any questions and want to try that, and because I told you, you could, <laughs> feel free to call me up and ask me and, and I can walk you through it or even figure it out for you if you'd like. Since I like to cause trouble and change up patterns. <laughs> and that yeah. pattern is on our website. Called the golden cow, golden touch cow mm -hmm. pattern. Which is funny because they made it out of the Midas colorway. So I think that's where the golden touch came from. And I think what's really neat about this a particular skein and any of the variegates is this stitch really plays up all those, you know, changing colors. And so, you know, look at that. You've got stitches that are completely different colors next to each other. So I think that's really fun. It really kind of breaks it up. You don't have pooling or, or flashing really. Um, the stitch does a really good job of making it all sticky. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a really unique piece. I really like that. Yeah, I, I really like this. And I, I think part of the reason I would want to make it wider is I think you'd really show off that beautiful woven stitch if you just had a nice big swath of it. <laughs> just woof. <laughs> all right. Speaking of great big small well, we'll little we'll go in order. That's easy. This piece, I love this piece. It's very simple. 
but it's super cozy. It will go over your shoulders a little bit there on the top. All the places when you wear a cowl, you want to keep warm. This piece does without extra bulk. So, you know, you don't have to worry about looping it or adjusting it just so. This is designed to fit perfectly right where you want it to fit. And it's called the Cocktail Umbrella Cowl, which is an adorable name as well. So it's got this nice little flare. You can wear it to parties too, back in you. When we can go to parties. This is, and this is just a single skein, one skein. Um, oh, Lori wow. earlier was asking if it's gonna feel too it's tight. The body or just... I think I just saw the splash. And it's nice and stretchy. You will not be strangled it's like a turtleneck on this. You got lots of give. It's knit very open. What do we do? Oh, cool. Hey, Bell, hey, hang on. I'm, I'm going to mute everybody because I'm hearing background noise. People can always <laughs> unmute themselves and chat. Now you can unmute yourself, Bell. Okay. It's a free pattern. I, they don't say on here what it's knit on, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, that was done on 17s. 17s, yeah. So you got a lot of nice open stretch. You can see there, nice and airy, but it'll still keep your neck nice and warm. You've got a cold wind breathing down the back of your jacket. And so this could go over your piece. It could go under. Like I said, it's not gonna create a lot of bulk. So you could easily slip your, your cardigan, your jacket over it and you won't look like a, you know, linebacker with <laughs> shoulder pads. That's right. <laughs> or very stylish 80s, 80s sweaters. Um, so I think they did that in, no, that's not Midas, Never mind. No, that one's that, Midas was the woven one. This is yeah, the Rosa. Or the blush, sorry, the blush. Oh, blush, okay, yeah. yeah. The blush color. The And according to what I'm reading here, uh, it was done, it uses the three needle bind off uh, at the end of it. So you're doing it on seven regular 17s, not circulars. And then it says you use the 17s for a three needle bind off. Really? Well, I'll believe you. Yeah, that's what it says in the description. But I agree with you, I'm not sure I believe that. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm seeing that. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and make sure the description is correct. Right. And actually look, oh, do I have it inside out? No, I have it the right way. But you could wear it the other way because you've got these nice ribs and they hide your, your increases there inside the ribs. But if you flip it the other way, then you've got more of that stuck in it. Oh, look at that. I like the little, it's like cascading. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I think it goes this way. <laughs> you actually make it this way, I think. There you go. Beautiful piece. Love this cocktail umbrella cow. One skein, so you can make it out of any color you want. Easy, cozy, cute. Or all the colors. All the colors. You probably need at least five of these. That's a, I would agree. I would agree. <laughs> That's like uh, Tamara and I, we've been wearing our Miss Marble scars and we like to wear them on Saturdays and we need more colors. All right, so this, let's adjust our camera. So they did a collection is the Jessica collection and there's a whole bunch of pieces and a whole bunch of yarns. This is the Jessica vest. Um, it is six to 10 skeins, depending on um, the size and they've got a, a decent bust range, which is really nice. Um, and this is what I like about this vest. Um, and it's kind of like a shrug but I love the movement of it. So you can see it comes up really sharply. It's got this really sharp angle in the front, which I think is neat and can be flattering to kind of give you this angled look near your waistline. 
it's got some fun stitch patterns. So you've got this ribbing, simple ribbing on the front, nice, big, open, lush collar that goes in the back. And you've got this really neat, it's called a reverse slip stitch pattern. So you just essentially have your little floats on this side and this is reverse stockinette. So you've got those, the pearl side of the fabric and these little floats that um, come from the slip stitches. And in the back, you've got some interesting movement and the way it fits, you know, the, the, our little um, mannequin isn't exactly best model here, but you're gonna have a lot of movement and ease because of this really interesting spine detail they did. So think of it kind of like, you know, the pleated backs of shirts, but in this lush, cozy, Bronco yarn. And this is done, this back piece is just done in stockinette. You can see it is seamed in places, um, but very easy. And see, so I think it's really neat. You've got this drastic change from front to back. That's a gorgeous, and, and let me share the screen to show the pattern on the website. Real person? Does that, that has the picture of it on a real person, right? You can yes, see it. it does. On, yeah, and it. I think it's a little more flattering on her than it is on our, on our little mannequin. Yeah, so you can see it's got this interesting movement and drape. Um, it's cozy, but it's not going to be super bulky. It's very casual, um, but it's got enough design details to be interesting and unique. And um, you know, it's not just a a stockinette shrug that you seam up a couple sides, you make a rest panel seam up, seam up a couple sides. It actually has some thought and design into it. So it almost functions the same way as a super simple shrug, but it's a little more fancy. It's great for leaning against trees. You know, it, that is for all your tree leaning days. This really is the one thing you should wear. And the other piece is the pattern apparently comes with a hat pattern as well. Oh, it does include it? Hmm. Oh yeah, Jessica vest and hat. Well, golly, how come we didn't get the hat? <laughs> I don't know, maybe they didn't have one. Barely. But yeah, it is a beautiful piece. I think it's just really interesting. It's got some neat, um, some neat elements to it, some design pieces. Yeah, I love that back. Yeah. And so it's just, you know, a little something to keep you cozy because it's that super bulky, you know, maybe you don't want a whole jacket. You don't want big, heavy sleeves. Um, you don't want fronts that are long and heavy and draped real long. So this is like a perfect, super bulky pattern. It'll keep your chest nice and warm and won't weigh you down. And you'll look stylish. That's right. I think this neutral color suits it too. You can put it with a lot of different things. All right. This one did come as a pooper. It's the Rise and Shine Cowl and hat. They do come in one pattern. And again, you've got some, there we are, some fun slip stitch. Is a lot you can do with slip stitch patterns. So you've got a simple rib to top it and, and, and end it, top and bottom. And it is technically striped. So um, yeah, so you make them together and you could do one skein um, each for the hat and cowl. So you could do it in a single color or you could stripe it. These are these, um, so this is that party collection. It's like balloon and ribbon and um, I think one is called candy and one is called party. Um, so they're all these really fun, bright, speckled colors. They all kind of go together. The party color incorporates all the colors. So here it is with the, the white is the base and the orange is striped in there. 
brothers. This was the orange is the base and the white is striped in. You can see they kind of meld. They're not perfect stripes because the orange has some white bits. And the speckled one, or maybe this one's called confetti. The speckled one has all the different colors of all the colored skeins in it. So they can all go together. You can mix and match. Oh, well, duh, it's right here. What am I thinking? It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah. I can show you all the colors in a piece that's right behind me. Who knew? Who well, this knew? is another one that you did kits for. Yes, because this one's so fun and I wanted them to be grab and go kits. So I put them all together um, just for ease, rise and shine. Wait. Did I do these all together or did I do random ones? No, no you I did them these. all from the- uh... yeah, yeah, from the collection. Yeah, yeah. Right. So there's party with ribbon. Who's running this show? I get together. There, so ribbon. My favorite, of course, it's the orange one. And yeah. all of these are gonna have the base of the um, party and then the complementary more solid color skein that goes with it. And so you stripe these and between the two skeins, you get the hat and the cowl. Or if you want, you can make two cowls and two hat or two hats um, if you wanna share with somebody. And you could be twinsies. So yeah, they've got fun names like candy, marshmallow, cupcake. That's the party collection. I think these are adorable. Um, and it's great on little accessories like this if you just want one little pop of color. So you can have fun. Of course, you can make these out of any two colors you want. Um, like I said, I thought these were great in that little party collection. So I wanted to make those grab and go. Um, but yeah, you know, a fun little fun little pop of color for any accessory. A cowl that is not too big, nice and close, cozy and lush. So that's the rise and shine. Rise and shine and be cozy. And here's the, here's all the colors that I was totally spacing on right behind me. So they call this their fiesta scarf. And this is a fiesta wrap. Thank you. This is no, actually you were correct. It's the scarf. Oh, yay. I haven't, you know, I got one thing right so far. Um, what I thought I just noticed this earlier and I thought it was cute. They went ahead and left their their tail and it just blends in with the fringe. So there's at least one end you, you know, on either end that you don't have to weave in because it'll blend in with your fringe. So they did their party skein that has the speckles of all the colors. And then they took all the more quote unquote solid colors of that collection. And they just did great big squishy rib blocks. So you just do rib until you run out of yarn and then you add the next color and you go. I think this piece is this is a very squeaky mannequin. This is a very luscious, luscious piece. piece. Um, it is a lot of skeins, so I did not make kits for them. Well, we actually have that collection up on the website. Yes. As a single, yeah, but, but yeah, we didn't oh, do- Yeah, I didn't do extra kits beyond that. Right. Because um, it's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you get seven. So it is, it is a, a large project to undertake, um, but it is gonna be cozy. And um, it's a nice kind of mindless, I, I, sometimes I like to say mindless and sometimes I don't, it sounds negative. It, it's, you know, like a cozy knit. It's a comfortable knit. You don't have to think. You can just enjoy the process of knitting. Right, and it's on big needles. It's on 13, so it goes pretty quick. Yeah, it's going to go real quick. And that ribbing makes it reversible and lies flat. So you don't have to worry about blocking it or um, it curling up on you. 
and it gives it nice squish and depth. Um, this is a great cozy piece. I brought it in because it's fun. It's true. And Franco really is, it, it's got a very high squish factor. It's very squishy. It's very, and do it in ribbing. Oh my goodness. Um, ideas for this, if you wanted, you could, this would be a great opportunity to play with, um, you could do a, a color blending, you know, if you want to do a fade or you just want to kind of throw in all your favorite colors. Um, if you, you know, had your eye on some Franca, bunch of different colors, you didn't know what to do with them. You could put them all in here. Most likely they will go together. I mean, this is a wide range and they share some speckles, but really if you put them together and just go with it, it'll probably work out. Yeah, that would be really interesting to do, or you could even do two different fades, like, you know, on one side and then the yeah. opposite side of the color wheel on the other side, yeah. Yeah, you did a deep dark blue and a medium blue and a light blue, and then you did a deep dark red, and a medium pink and a light pink or something. You could blend your colors. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, very nice piece. Okay, next one. And a less squeaky mannequin. This, I think this is a really cool piece. This is the Norwood hat and the Norwood cowl. And actually, I think these are separate. Um, I don't think these two pieces come together. You know, I think they actually, do they? I think they do. Let me, because they're on the website. Please check for me. I apparently, I looked up other stuff, but apparently did not look up all the right stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yep, the hat and the cowl come together on with the in the pattern. Oh, okay, good. Oh, great. Very nice. Because I was worried that, because um, they have, you know, they're individually marked with uh, skein counts. So I worried that the hat is one skein. And so it's got this great lattice. Yeah, I think you can see that. This great lattice pattern. Um, you do the background of reverse stockinette so you can see these, these um, knit stitches stick out. They stand out kind of like a cable, but it's, I don't think it's actually a cable. It's kind of got these, you can see there, you do these kind of wrap and gather slip stitches. And so you do some some crossovers. So it makes a really nice piece. And on the big cowl, I pulled it down over the shoulders of the mannequin. To see, you can see how generous it is. This is two skeins. That's how you get this lovely, generous piece. So you can come up over your back of your neck, go down over your shoulders a little bit, or just be nice and cozy and fold it up front. I love them when they're big like this. And so you can really see Yeah, look at that pattern. And even in this color that doesn't have a lot of variation and is slightly dark, you can still see that I think you can see the pattern more in person than in the lighting I've got going here. Um especially because it's you you see the 3D-ness of it more. And this is kind of flat on the video. Um, but it is really this really nice, simple lattice. We almost had it in the shadows. There you go. This lattice design. And I can show it on the website. We can do close-ups on there. Let me share the screen. Because yeah, you're right. It's a very, it's a striking. Yeah. You could almost even wear this inside out. Yeah, yeah, it's called the Norwood. Norwood. So there, if you can see that. And then there's the hat. I don't know if that's any clearer. A little bit. So would you need three since the cow takes two? Yes, which is why I was thinking that it was, yeah, they were separate patterns because they're individually listed. And this, um, this has definitely got to be more than 
than one. This is so this is the inside. And you can see that gathering that kind of tucking and you could almost wear it this way too, just to change it up. Um, it almost reminds me of a was it that haystack stitch, but I don't think that is it. Um, but simple ribbing. Beautiful piece. I love a nice lush deep cowl. That's the Norwood. You can do it any in any color. I would suggest you do this in a solid color um, or the semi-solids that the Franca comes in. So you don't lose that lattice texture and design. Um, if you just like the up close uh, texture and you don't need to see that lattice from a distance, you of course could make it in any color you want. And I think some of the lighter variegates, um, you would still get this design in there. Um, but I think one of the solids and especially one of the lighter solids would be your best choice if you really want to show off that stitch. And so you can see that's a two, a two skein cowl. You can see the size of it. I also brought up for comparison. We sell a lot of these. This is a one skein cowl. This is your simple weekender cowl or weekend weekend cowl. This is just one skein. It's a seed stitch. You didn't knit this one in the round. Go to piece, cozy. Seed stitch makes it lush. Not complicated, but gives it nice texture. Seed stitch all, will also help break up some of the um, pooling of the variegates. Nice piece. And then you can always make quick Franca mitts. Whoops. I think we actually got two pair out of one skein. US 13s, again, nice quick. Um, it's a simple ribbing. And you seam it up the sides. So you just leave a thumb hole, however you like, however high and however wide. And you've got yourself a pair of cozy wrist warmers. Lush, squishy. Um, like the pulse warmers that Chris made, you'll find that just covering that bit of your wrist makes a big difference for how warm your arm is overall because it keeps that pulse point where your veins are closest to your skin there from you know not letting off too much heat keeps you cozy. It'd be a great accessory for your Jessica vest. That's right. Well, that's a great idea. Do the Jessica vest and then your, uh, the Jessica hat. You can do a Jessica hat. Yeah. And you can do your, your little, uh, wrist warmers or your quick Franca mitts. You could do them in a complementary color and a contrast color. And I'm realizing we don't have those last two pieces you showed are not yet on our website. I know. That's okay. Yeah, so I didn't do too many kits with these. Um, Cause a lot of them are just kind of one color or one skein. So you could just, you've got the whole, the whole range of Franca to play with. Um, so go forth, have fun with it. Um, yeah, any questions? And I think there are more Franca patterns on the Fairmount Fibers website. If you're looking for something else, let us know. They've got several hats. I think they have a couple more cowls. Um, beautiful yarn. And we could always, of course, help you choose any super bulky pattern to make Franca with. Tamara made a, a blanket for her husband, which would be a quick knit, very cozy and lush. If you want to make a blanket out of Franca. Any yeah. questions about the yarn or the these specific patterns? Do people want to see things again? Do you want to see all the colors? Can you show the Jessica again? Yeah. The, the little Jessica wrap? Yeah. Yeah. Get it a little closer and then move the camera down and try to get out of the light. Because is it kind of like a little cap sleeve? Yes, yes. So you okay. can see. Yep. I guess I could add a little bit more length. 
I think you could, yes. You've got, um, you'd have to do some some modding of the pattern. So you can see okay. where the yeah. pieces are in the back and how that shape yeah. is weave. Which I think, yeah, the, the shaping of it is really interesting. Like I said, I just really like this piece. So yeah, I think you could mod it. Um, it wouldn't be as straightforward as some other ones. And I think the textures are interesting. I love that um, because, you know, the, the angle of these stitches, again, it plays with that movement and that flattering shape. And you wear, you know, you could wear this over a dress, you could wear it over a shirt and jeans. Yeah, really, that, it's a striking piece. I really like it. It is, yeah. And I think this, this is really interesting, this kind of pleated bit in the back. And also, like I said, you know, gives you a bit more movement and give. It's nice instead of just a, you know, a flat, yeah, plain a bag of super bulky yarn. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a And I love, you know, this high plush collar. It's done in ribbing, nice and wide in the front. Yeah, and I love how that goes in. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for shawl collars, so I really like that, yeah. that look. Yeah, and I bet if you made it in the larger than a size, kind of like our kimono, you could put a button down here, I bet, or right. a shawl pin. Keep it pinned there. You could nip it in at your waist, which again would be very flattering because it flares. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, it'll flare out and brush the top of your hips, which would look really cute. I was gonna say how elegant that looks. Right. Yeah, especially in, in, so yeah, you could do this in the fun party color, or you could do this in, you know, this is kind of a neutral or, you know, more um, sophisticated or elegant color. So you could put it with anything. And then of course, simple, simple ribbing on the bottom. I don't know if I highlighted that or not. Just a simple finished edge of ribbing. Yeah, I think a, a lot of times we're afraid of a super bulky yarn for a vest or a jacket because, you know, how big do we really want to get? But that one's got such great shaping. Exactly, that's right. And and you're worried about the weight and, and yeah, the bulk. <laughs> Oh, am I going to have a bunch of bulk under my arms? Um, and so you, if you've got this clever construction, you'll, you'll avoid all of those things. And so you can enjoy your super bulky, plush, cozy vest without it being, you know, ginormous or heavy. And that seam down the there. side? This has a seam down the side, yes. So you're seamed. This back piece is going to be separate from the front piece, you've got your seam there. The, um, no, that, I don't think that's seamed. I think it's incorporated. The shawl collar is incorporated. This is seamed in the back. And it's knit on 11s and 10s. So the 10s are going to give you that nice, um, nice tight ribbing. And the 11s are going to be for the body. So it's going to be a little more dense and you're going to have a bit more structure and it won't uh, grow on you. And as we say, 11s or 10s or size needed to obtain gauge because we all are slaves yeah. to gauge. Yes. Yeah, you will want to hit gauge on this one. Um, and so gauge is always more important. And when it comes to pattern gauges, um, yeah, if you start with the yarn they recommend, which is Franca, ignore the gauge on the Franca tag and look at the gauge on the pattern. And then you want to hit that gauge. You start with the needle that they tell you. But if you don't make gauge, then go up or down however you need to. Um, you're going to want to change your, your needle and not your yarn when you're making, when you're trying to go for gauge. Right. And, and don't try to adjust your knitting to make gauge. Adjust yes, that, 
That will never work. I'll just knit looser or tighter. You will get in the mode and you will like almost instantly revert to your normal knitting. It's the same with crochet. Um, yeah, never try to do it different than how you normally would, either looser or tighter. Just change your, your tools. Right. No, that's great. So that's Franca. So Franca yeah, scattered this time, but I think I think I pulled it off. No, you did great. And and so that everybody knows, Belle just got all these models today. <laughs> so yeah. in addition to helping customers that came in by appointment and walk-ins and answering the phone and shipping product, she was busy putting together this show. So. She's done a spectacular job, mm -hmm. quite Thank frankly. You. Thank you. Thank you. I always feel bad when I'm. Uh, uh, no, you did great. And Thanks. Chris had a request to see all the patterns again, oh, the all the colors, rather. I didn't know why. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bummed that I couldn't bring my rack over. It happens. It does. And I, and I want to show everybody a little trick for um, that usually works. So yeah, here's all the those spectacular Franca colors. And it is this yarn is just so squishy. And even though it's a super bulky, it feels very light. Because one skein gives you what? It's about 114 yards. Yeah, yeah. It's that mm. single ply. It's lofty and plush. So yeah, it's it's a super bulky, but it's not really heavy. A single ply again, as we've talked with other yarns, so it's going to mean it's not um, the most hard wearing. So do be mindful of that. But it's a beautiful super wash merino, so soft, and the colors are rich. Yeah, they really are. It just it just jumps out. It's when it came out, it's become one of our most popular selling yarns now. Is Franca just because of, you know, they're just beautiful and it's big and squishy. Well, and folks like quick knits, you know, here's here's a real quick, fun, squishy project. Right. You've got great colors to work with. You can, you know, get a piece done in a weekend. Tonight, if you're doing a hat and you're a speedy Gonzalez. And one of the fun things, so uh, kind of an interesting thing uh, in our uh, pattern section. So if you go up under extras where the patterns live, and this should work a lot. One of the things you can do is if you scroll down and you go under line, we've tried to tag the yarn that's related to it. So if you go down and say, oh, let me see all the Franca patterns. Fancy. So it should, I say should, uh, pull up the patterns that are Franca specific. So there's there's all the ones that we've seen today. Yeah. I will say, yeah, I love this Murga scarf. I honestly, I'm not a big fan of that acid green. So I really want to see it in another color. <laughs> I, I think, I think. I think that pattern is really cool. It just needs to be in different colors. Hence the kits. Hence the kits. That's why I mean the kits. That's right. I mean, no offense. If those are your colors, go for it. I think it's exciting and fun and it's accessory. And the accessories are the best place to play with color. Um, but I think the stitch is really interesting. And you could do fun things with other colors. Um, so you could easily tone it down or or tone it up in a different way um you can play with it and have fun you know this one kind of strikes the balance of, of fun and and easy going this one's still a little more fun you've got those bright fuchsia colors yeah how rich would that be and it'll with all yeah. those purples it'll go with almost everything exactly and i think the way the stitch works where it'll kind of blend and mix i think it'd be really interesting so somebody needs to make that color up so Belle can yeah. see. Yeah, because I need to see it <laughs> and not an ice earring lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing favorites. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. 
Yay, wow. Franca. Yay. Thank you for joining me today and um, being interested in Franca and all her patterns and all her presentations. And I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned some more things and discovered a new yarn. Let's make I, Franca project. I would love to see the black that has a little bit of color in it. Yeah. Oh, you're going to go grab this gang? Great. Yeah. Yeah, those are really unique when those, those came. We'd never seen anything like that dye process. So we're, we're sure to see other yarns. Uh, well, they'll try to do it, you know. We only have the color ones in stock. We don't have the boring one in stock, which is just the black and white. Um, but we have the colored ones in stock, which I think are so cool. So this one is called Flamenco. And it's got these great kind of rich red colors, spicy. So if you want an understated, a very subtle piece, you these would be perfect. So you've got this nice kind of um, elegant black color, but these little pops of fun. And they're not, you know, outlandish colors. They're nice colors. Here it is in gold. I think this one's really cool. This is called Gold Drop. I think that's kind of rich. Yeah, very elegant. Yeah. The vest and, would look pretty in that. Ooh, yes, it would. And this one is called Batik. It's kind of, um, I would call this a, a tealy green. Maybe, yeah, it's more of a, it's a tealy green. Almost turquoise? It's not quite that blue. Okay. I would put it more towards the green side. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, of course. You're welcome, Linda. Now, somebody buy it and, and make it into something. Yeah, we got to see it. <laughs> Could you hang one of those black ones over the vest? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And so you'll get these little blips. These little blips will be nicely spattered throughout. I think the best, the best look, um, gosh, we don't have a piece. Kind of like where the, the white is, but even less. But you can see it's going to read mostly as this one color with the little blips. And mm -hmm. I think you'll have even fewer blips because this party comes with quite a bit of fleckles, of speckles. Um, so yeah, it'll read black with just these little dots of color. And I think that would be really cool. Uh, the neck warmer, that one. That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. You're right, to make that such an elegant, elegant piece. Yes, yes. Linda, I think that's the one you need to make. Yeah, yeah, but Which my color, list Linda? is too long. <laughs> uh, Every time I see one of these shows, my list gets longer. <laughs> yeah, so. Especially Ooh. after Saturday. I haven't uh, actually oh. tried it on. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is cozy. Oz, I don't know what happened to this model that we got in today. I can't find it. <laughs> we'll, the store. we'll give Lisa your uh, your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! Yeah, yeah beautiful. That would be a great piece. And for those of you that haven't haven't even uh, played with Franck at all, to say that it's luxurious and soft and squishy is an understatement. It's just really a stunning yarn. Yeah, it's it's. It, because it's so thick and plush, you really get to like experience it. And we have had some back orders. So if you order stuff, there's a couple, like Belle said, there's a couple of the colors that we're out of right now. Uh, with all the disruptions, uh, things have been taking a little longer, but they, yeah. are, they are shipping stuff out. I know we got a little shipment today. We've got a whole bunch more coming. Yeah, because there, there is this, um, it's called Skunk. And it has uh, white dots. Right. Yeah. Skunk's been back ordered for a little bit, but I everything is coming. Oh, great. Well, I hey. think I'll, 
Anka. I'll actually so I'll say thank you Bill yes thank you thank you Great. Bill phenomenal job Thanks. 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 Thanks.